Welcome to Rouse Rising. If you are new here, my name is Katie and today I am sharing with you an Azure Standard Grocery Haul. And you may be asking if you're new to my channel, what is Azure Standard? And it is a small, rapidly growing, family owned company out of Moro, Oregon. And they distribute quality food and household products that are toxin free, non-GMO, organic, fragrance free, um, all the good stuff that you can think of. They supply it and they have different drop locations located all around the country. So if you go to their website, you can search and see if there is a drop location near you. And if there's not, you can start one. If you want to check out Azure Standard, I'm going to leave it linked down in this video's description. And when you use my link that uh, provides me with a credit to shop at Azure, and then you're going to get your own specific link. And when you share that with your family and friends, you are also going to get a $25 credit to shop at Azure when your family and friends place an order of $100 or more. Now, Azure Standard can replace many of your groceries from the grocery store. They are economical as well as friendly to the environment. And you're going to find that they have many things that you can't find near you locally. Things like bulk bags of whole wheat that isn't milled yet. This whole wheat will last up to 50 years if you store it correctly and as long as it stays in its whole form, you can mill that into flour and use it for bread making or making cream of wheat or for any variety of things that you want to make with your wheat. And like I said, you can store it for up to 50 years if you keep it dry and bug free. Azure Standard has helped me buy many products in bulk for my large family, and that has helped me save a load of money. Now, I've also saved a lot of money in more recent months because I have built up my bulk supply of food and now that the grocery prices have skyrocketed and we're seeing some things have doubled as well as things like eggs, eggs in the next year are likely to be $12 a dozen. So things like that. Um, Azure also sells animal feed and things for your farm. So different kinds of animal feeds for your farm, chicken feed, things like that. So go ahead down in the description below, click that link and go and browse because you will be amazed at all the many products that you find. I also want to talk a little bit about what's happening with our food supply. I mentioned the chicken eggs are going to go up to $12 a dozen because chicken feed is astronomical right now. And you may not be seeing that price increase yet, but it is coming down the line for those quality eggs that you're going to want to be buying. So what's really happening in the world is distribution centers are burning down. Thousands of cows are dying from heat waves and there's a lot of food supply disruptions. I've had many people tell me that I am fear mongering because I speak about this and their grocery store shelves are still packed full. But keep in mind that your grocery stores have food in them right now that was grown in previous years. So it hasn't quite happened where you're seeing the shortages yet because they're dealing with crops from previous years. So the cereal that you see on the grocery store shelf is probably from wheat that was grown a couple of years ago. You may not be seeing empty shelves yet, but we're already seeing those escalating grocery prices because of the fuel costs. And those fuel costs that are skyrocketing, those fuel costs are going to affect everything in our life. So it's not just going to be groceries, it's going to be everything across the board from anything that is manufactured anything that requires transportation, all the logistics involved that involves fuel, everything like that is going to cause the prices of food and other products to skyrocket. So although you may not be seeing empty shelves right at this moment, it's very possible that we could be seeing food shortages in the very near future. So I want you all to keep that in mind. And if you haven't started preparing already, you need to start preparing today. So let's face it, most of us don't have $1,000 sitting in our bank account to go and invest in food. 
but your food is an investment. If you are paying attention to the happenings over the last couple of years, then you may have already started to prepare your home and prepare your family for what is to come. And if you haven't, it's not too late. You can start to purchase items now and begin storing food now, and you can do it in little increments. Every little bit that you do adds up. So if you can grab a extra bag of dry beans from the store and stash it away every week or an extra bag of rice and stash that away, then you're gonna be ahead of your neighbor. I've been buying bulk food this past year and storing up food. And I'm at a place now where I'm able to use my I'm able to use my resources. I'm able to use my back stock of food. And I was able to lock in those prices for those food products, you know, six months ago. That has benefited us because now when I need to go to the grocery store, I don't have to go buy oatmeal because I have 25 pounds of it on my shelf. I don't have to go buy flour because I have a 50 pound bag of whole red wheat berries right here and this can be milled into flour. So things like that are going to save my family money because I've got it already. I locked in those prices and now that I'm seeing food cost prices through the roof, I am still saving money because I'm just going to the store and I'm just getting produce and whatever we need from the grocery store and I'm not having to buy flour. I'm not having to buy oatmeal. I'm not having to buy beans and things like that because I already have them in my home in a bulk supply. And when I started prepping, I started buying an extra bag of beans here, an extra bag of beans there. And I've been doing that for a few years before I started purchasing from Azure Standard. Now I'm buying from there. So I'm able to get my 25 pound bags of beans, my 10 pound bags of beans, grains, lentils, and things like that. And I am locking in those prices for a longer period of time. And now I'm able to set money aside for the increasing cost of food. So if you want to plan ahead and be wise with your finances, you want to go ahead and start investing in your food. You don't have to go out there and panic buy, um, but there are things that I do recommend. So I would go back on my channel and watch my other Azure standard videos and watch my other pantry prepper videos because those are gonna give you the ideas and the tools that you need to store your food for long term, to make sure that you have enough food for your family, calculating your bulk food storage, calculating how much food you need for your families. I talk about all of that. But also uh, Felicia over at Greens and Grit, she actually has a grains calculator for you that you can go there and see how much grain you're gonna need for your family for a year or two. Should things hit the fan and you have to start growing your own food, we're all gonna need energy to farm that food. It takes an enormous amount of energy to grow your own food and to garden. And in order to sustain yourself, to do the hard work to produce your own food, you're gonna need meat, you're gonna need fat, you're gonna need carbs, but the meat is really, the meat and fat are so crucial to maintaining your body and your energy levels so that you can do the most amount of work to produce the most amount of food for you and your family. So I've been canning all the meat that's in our freezer from our hunting harvest over the last year. I've canned up elk and I've canned up deer because I want to get all of that meat out of my freezer in case of the power outages that are predicted. And so when the power goes out, I don't want a freezer full of meat to go bad. And we don't know how long these blackouts are going to last. And the best thing you can do is be prepared. So that's why I've been trying to get all my food shelf stable. So that includes meats and broths and things like that. You want to get all those things shelf stable so that you are prepared and so that your body can be sustained and you can have energy to grow your own food. Things like this wheat, you're going to be able to plant this and it should be able to grow you more wheat in the future. So those types of things are what you want to be looking out for when you're planning your preps and when you're stocking your food. Thank you so much for using my referral link. That has helped my family more than you know, and for that, I am so thankful. Also in this video description, I have links for things like real salt, 
You can also buy Real Salt from Azure Standard, but with my link and my code, that deal is better than the price that you can get from Azure Standard. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping around. If you want Real USA Mind Salt, check out Redmond's Real Salt. Plenty of links down there with discount codes for you all. Check those out. I know a few of you have asked, how can you support my family during this time that we are going through with my husband's health? And that is one way that you can help support us. You can support us by watching these videos. You can support us by commenting and sharing down below. As well, you can support us by using my links, my referral links, and my affiliate links and I appreciate it so much. Thank you for doing that. And without further ado, let's get to this grocery haul. I'm missing a few things. What I am missing is a container, a box of my favorite laundry detergent, and I'm also missing a bag of apple juice infused cranberries. They are delicious and amazing, and I get those from Azure Standard. But I went ahead and got their large eight pound container of Wishin' Washin' Dishwasher Powder. It is unscented, and you can see it is a clean dishwashing detergent. This is a refillable container, this plastic container, so I can keep buying. Uh, I can buy their dishwasher detergent in a large bucket, and then I can refill this to keep underneath of my cabinet. You just stick a funnel in there and refill it up with your large huge bucket of dishwasher powder. I have been buying my cleaning products from Azure. Every month I add another product. I have been buying their uh, Country Save laundry detergent and I love it because it is uh, dye-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, no phosphates, no S, oh, all those things, you know? The same thing with their clothes detergent and I love it because I don't like artificial scents on my plates when I'm eating food or on my utensils. So that's why I prefer to have the fragrance free. And I also prefer to have fragrance free for my clothes washing detergent. Okay, cannelli beans are one of the more expensive beans. And so I bought this five pound bag and it was $18.74 for this five pound bag. That is gonna save lots of money from the grocery store buying already canned beans from the store. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and can up a bunch of beans here at home in my ball mason jars and have those ready to go on the shelf. So in case of a powder outage, we just open up the beans and from the can and eat them. And we don't have to worry about cooking them. I don't have to start a fire outside or anything like that. So that's my plan for those. My family loves to snack on these banana chips. We also use them to make trail mixes and things like that. I can uh, break them up a little more and throw them in with granola and we just really love them. So every month I buy three pounds of banana chips. I know that I could make my own, but y'all, there's, there's a lot of things that I make and there's some things that I'm just not gonna do and I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> so I just buy those. These are the Black Beluga lentils. These are a new product from Azure. So I went ahead and picked up a five pound bag of those. They look beautiful. Somebody commented on my last Azure standard haul that they have kind of a nuttier flavor to them than other lentils. So I thought we would give those a try and to store things like this and like these cannelli beans. I bought this big box of these one gallon. These aren't half gallon mason jars. These are the full one gallon glass jar. And this is what I use to store all of my bulk food. So in this box, there are four of these jars, but you do have to buy the lids separately from Azure. So when you see these large glass jars down below in, in its description, it will say lids and it'll give you a link for the lids. So you need to go ahead and buy your lids as well. Then right here, I have been sprouting broccoli and we will be sprouting broccoli a lot in the winter time. So I went ahead and got some broccoli seeds now for sprouting. And they just make a delicious little uh, broccoli sprout and we use that on our sandwiches, uh, in salads and things like that. And they are jam packed with nutrition. So that is a great way to get your greens throughout the winter time. If your garden's not producing and you need some greens in your diet, broccoli seeds and sprouting broccoli seeds is an excellent way to go. Back here, I got some durum wheat and this is used to make some, oh, I don't know how to say it, 
I, I'm not even going to say it because I'm going to butcher it. But this durum wheat is used to make the flour that pasta is made out of. So I grabbed 25 pounds of that because at some point I would like to make my own pasta. It's really easy to make and I actually just bought a manual pasta machine from Goodwill. So check out Goodwill for those pasta makers. I also found an electric one there a few months ago. I am kicking myself for not buying the electric one, but I am fine with the manual one because I can get my kids to help me crank out some pasta. So this 25 pound bag of organic Durham wheat berries was $39.05. So it's a little bit more expensive than your standard wheat berry, and uh, that's, you know, that's okay. I'm going to use it to make pasta. It's going to be awesome, but if I don't get to get to making pasta anytime soon, these are going to be safe in a five-gallon bucket with a gamma seal lid for many, 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 many years. So it's a great product to have so that you can have homemade pasta when things hit the fan and your family's hungry. I finally was able to get this hard red wheat. I've been able to buy the white uh, the white wheat berries and the soft white wheat berries and the hard white wheat berries from Azure in previous months, but every month when my order comes through the pick line, they're always sold out of the hard red wheat berries. So I grabbed a 50 pound bag because I know that we will probably go through 50 pounds of wheat berries in six months to a year, you know, probably six months if I make a loaf of bread every single day, definitely within a year this will get used up. And I am really surprised at how fast I am going through wheat berries lately. Uh, like I said, I was given my friend Margaret on here. She's a subscriber. She gave me this beautiful grain mill, and she also gave me a bucket of hard red wheat berries, and we are down to probably the last two gallons of that five gallon bucket of wheat berries. So it was time for me to re-up and I've been trying to get a bag for months. And like I said, they've been sold out and you want to just start getting these things now because they do have supply issues and they do run out of things. So go ahead and try to get the items and always buy more uh, from them than you think because they do run out and you do want to get the largest quantity that you think your family can use and you want to make sure that you have that in your stash. Okay so I ran into town to grab some groceries and I was able to go back by our drop location and this is what I found there. They did not have my cranberries, my apple juice infused or apple juice sweetened cranberries but they did have my box of laundry detergent i am planning to buy a larger container of this like a big old um what do you call it five gallon bucket so yeah that's probably going to be uh maybe when i need not next month but the following month so august my august azure haul i will probably get a large bucket of this because i love it so much i've been buying the small ones just to make sure i liked it and i do and i'm just saving up my pennies so i can do that thank you all so much for watching this azure grocery haul this is just to urge you to be prepared in case maybe your family experiences a job loss or maybe somebody falls sick and you've, you know, you go without pay for an extended amount of time or like I said earlier with the grocery prices, you A, B, P, always be prepared and then you don't have to worry. Thank you so much for watching today. Until next time, bye.